before we get into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys get notified every time we, I upload another new video. Hello guys, and today I am back with another Minecraft video, and today guys, I am back reviewing the outside add-on once again, but now it is version 0.03, also known as the recipe update, and once again, I am here with Strong Miner, the lead creator for this um, add-on, so... This is an incredible add-on. Its goal is to replicate the create mod as well as they possibly can. And they do have permission to do this. I'll bring up a screenshot real quick that shows that they do have permission to do this. And if you guys want to download this yourself, it's in the description. Um, I'll leave a link to their Discord, to the Bedrock Miners Discord server and to the McPedal page for this. Um, but anyway, let's get into this. So, um, well, for real, real quick, a cool feature that I thought was pretty cool, um, I'll bring up a picture of it now when you're just loading in a cool little title screen where it says, um, outside add-on. So, and, well, first up, we're gonna start in items this time, actually, so we're gonna start off with the wrench toolbox just because this is something that I feel like we'll need for, like, at the very beginning. And as you can see, there's a lot more recipes here because this um, update aims to make this as uh, survival friendly. Um, one of the main problems they're still working on is how to make it not possible for you to have infinite power because they can, you can, they're, they're still currently infinite power, correct? Like, there's no way for it to, like, run out right now. Yeah, so hopefully you can figure that out by next update. But if, we, if you just hold down on the wrench toolbox, like you're trying to break a block, you can choose that way. Yeah, um, it will give you a wrench and a remover. So the wrench um, rotates certain machines, but people don't know if it is wrong or not. Okay. <laughs> well, if you, and the remover um, will remove stuff, like its name, certain machines that you can't break. So yeah, the first machine, where did I put, the, oh, there's the motor. I put them a little out of order. The first machine is the, machine is the motor. So the mo motor is just a machine that powers all the other machines. It's pretty straightforward. And if you place it, as you can see, it's right here. Um, currently, you can rotate it while it's off. So as you see, um, this back part's red. But if you click on it with a, le with a lever, it will um, turn black. And now you can no longer rotate it because it is um, activated. But you can now place other machines and whatnot on it. But, um, so next up is the shaft. So the shaft is the block that transports power to other blocks. So if we just click, oh, yeah, this is why I wanted to rotate it so it wouldn't go that way. Oh, wait, I gotta turn it off, rotate it, turn it back on, and now place it. Yeah, so you just gotta click on it, and it will go on this front part, this part where it will turn red if you, um, deactivate it. It will not go on this back part. So, um... It's just me or did they get long? Oh wait, you placed two. I was like, why did I, I was like, why did they get longer? But um, so next up is the mechanical press. So the mechanical press um is a block that, as it um, as it implies, it presses down certain items into different forms. So there's two ways you can do stuff with this. If I grab a crafting table, so you can just throw the stuff under it, or you can punch it with a crafting table, and this crafting grid will appear above it. Um. So, are there any new recipes from last time? No, okay. So, now let's go on to the res the recipes for the mechanical press. I'll just grab everything for it. So, first up is gold. How to make a gold sheet. So, let's just split this into two things. So, if you throw uh, throw it under, it will... T oh, I, f I, messed that up. I messed that up. Um... Well, if you throw it under, it'll turn into a um, gold sheet. It will turn into only one gold sheet, so do not, this, and this is with everything that um, the mechanical press does, it will only turn into one of it. It will not turn into how many you throw under it. So if you will, don't want to just keep throwing one at a time, I do suggest using this crafting grid up here, because as you can see, if I put in the copper ingot, it will give you multiple. So yeah, that's the copper sheet. And really just to keep it simple. So you can throw every block under or you can throw everything in here. But um, this is how you get the iron sheet. This is how you get the brass sheet. Um, By the way, is it possible to get brass in survival currently? I don't think it is. But And also you can get paper out of sugar cane. No, okay. So yeah, that's the mechanical press. It's a pretty useful, pretty cool block. But um, if we move on. Next up is the... Let's see, what is next up? Ah, uh, the gearbox. 
So the gearbox is a quite useful, um, probably one of the most useful, honestly, out of all these machines. Because what it does, it basically changes the direction of the power. So right now, power will only go forward, and will shafts will only go forward. But this, if you place it, now you can make the shafts go different directions. And if you um, rotate it, then the shaft will go that direction. And a really cool thing, as you can see right here with the texture, whichever side it thinks is currently currently powering will um, light up. So can it still power? Um, e does it still power each side, or does it now only power the side that's lit up? Both. Okay. Yeah, and then you can turn it again, and it'll. I don't. I, I don't actually think it starts coming out this way. Yeah, but anyway. So that's the um, gearbox. It's a very useful um, block, but I didn't mean to do that on purpose. Okay. So yeah, that's something you'll um, like take away in the next up in the next update, if you can. Maybe. Okay. So next up is the <laughs> another kind of gearbox, the vertical gearbox. So basically, it's the same thing, but this um, will be crucial for a later um, machine. But cr but basically, all it does, you just gotta place it and it's just the exact, exact same thing as the normal gearbox except for it goes vertically so you can make it go up or you can oh whoops I, I did the I did the mover <laughs> whoops or you can um, um, rotate it and make it go down so yeah it's really useful for that and I'll show you a um, and my goodness gracious and in a minute you'll see a machine that this mechanic is really useful for so next up let's actually do that machine. The, um, mechan- the millstone, sorry. The, so the millstone- Wait a second, I can't do the millstone. When you do the- that the shaft stays, which mean, means the shaft is powered, which is the- Ah, oh, I see. I see. So yeah, we'll actually need to do the cogwheel next, so that's the infinite power bug. So you're trying to figure out how to make it not do that? Okay, so next up is the cogwheel. The cogwheel- um, from, from what I understand currently is mainly useful for just one machine. So you can either place it like this normally, and if you try to place, you can't place other machines on this, you can only place other shafts on it, like, like going forward, but as you can see, I'll, I'll demonstrate with here, also you can place them vertically. Um, I love how you can place them both directions, and you can just see, you can place another shaft on it, but vertically I don't think you can place any other machines up here. Let me see, does that work? No, it does not. Okay. Well, next up is the millstone. So the millstone, kind of like a mechanical press in the way that it does have a lot of recipes it, do it um, does. So the way you, you can place the millstone, um, you can't place it on normal, on like anything normal. You have to place it on a vertical cogwheel. So like, as you can see, the gears kind of interlock the teeth. And now let me show you the millstone recipe. So this is actually a lot of recipes. So let me just put this stuff away real quick. So these are the many, many, many millstone recipes. So let me just get them all. Um, you said you think there's 30, right? Oh, thank you. Maybe. Okay. So um, as you can see, if we throw a dandelion, it'll give you... Um, yellow dye, poppy, red dye, red tulip, red dye. So it gives you two of, oh, well, for a dandelion and um, poppy, it seems it gives you two. For red tulip, it gives you one red dye. Oh, it's random. Okay. I like that. That's cool. Um, if you throw, so, yeah, it's pretty much just the same with every flower, but I'll show you it anyway. Yeah, like, the, like Strong Miner just said, yeah, you can only throw one at a time, because if you throw multiple, it will only give you that random amount. It won't give you a random amount, considering how much you threw in. Just like the mechanical press. Yeah, so that's all the um, millstone recipes, but I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's all the millstone recipes. So let's put that all back in here. And th let's now I'll just show you probably definitely my favorite block out of this entire add-on. I don't really know why, I just really like it, the bread block. So last in last version, it replaced cake. It does no it no longer replaces cake. Let me show you if we go and get some cake. See, it no longer replaces cake. It is its own block. And as you can eat cake like this, 
you can also eat the bread block. Now, it has no eating sound, but that's okay. I still think it's really impressive that you can also eat it. Like, oh, it does have an eating sound. Well, that's cool. So, yeah, that's, that's bread block. <laughs> Definitely one of my... I don't know why I just like it a bunch. But now let's move on to... I think this is actually our final machine. The mechanical drill. So, the mechanical drill is um oh wait i know i think i know some things i missed but um the mechanical drill it's basically as the name implies it's just a drill that will just drill the block in front of it infinitely so this is really good for um cobblestone fa for cobblestone farms if you have it set up which i do not i have it I, um so i do not have it set up right i don't have a hopper which i should but as you can see it'll just go infinitely it's kind of broken <laughs> but so now for the crafting recipe so so yeah, I'll go through the ones of stuff I have not shown yet. So let's go into survival to do this. Okay, so let's put this away. So, um, first up, andesite alloy. Uh, alloy. Alloy. So there's two ways to craft this. I'll show you both. Um, last time there's only one way, but um, you, you but strong miner fixed that. So let's do that. Let's do that. And now we have andesite, uh, andesite, andesite alloy. I can't talk, but you do this. But you can also do the same thing just with um, zinc nuggets, which I'll show you how to get those. Um, also, now next up is the zinc block. You just get that from getting a bunch of zinc. You know what? I'll just place this here. Also, speaking of that, I forgot to showcase zinc, so we can get them. We can get through all of them. Oh, we can. Okay. Well, so, if I just give myself a pickaxe real quick. So, if I just mine this, um, zinc, so this is what the zinc ore looks like, and you will find it naturally generating in your world. It is a natural, um, block. Does fortune work on zinc? No, okay. And as you can see, this, uh, um, in my hotbar, that's what, um, zinc, that's what raw zinc looks like. I really like the texture of it. And I like how they went with um, raw zinc, since everything's raw nowadays. It generates too much anyway. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, now we got this muffin, I mean, we don't have enough, but let's just smelt it, and it'll smelt into a zinc ingot, which um, I showed you, but... So yeah, this is how you craft a zinc block. It's just like any other block, it's quite simple. So let's get all of this. Um, so you just craft it like any, thank you. You just craft it like any other block. It's just the zinc, um, it's, this is what the zinc block looks like. I like the texture. Um, and when we get to, um, the outside book, I can, I can show you who the texture is, but, um, so the way you craft, um, zinc nuggets, just the way you craft any other kind of nuggets, let's get some zinc ingots. You just place it like this and bam, a zinc nugget. So that's nice. What is this for? Yes, my andesite alloy. So we just put this stuff away. Next up, we have the engineer's goggles. So if we just craft these, you will need two gold. Um, I mean, you'll need one gold sheet, two glass, and one string. So this is how you craft it. But I did that wrong. This is how you craft it. And you can't actually like wear it like you were able to in version 0.01. You just hold it in your hand and you click on it and it'll tell you how many blocks left until it's out of power. Is that what? Oh, it won't let you place anymore. I see. I like that. That's a really cool feature. But, um, so yeah, that's what that power left stuff means. I really like that. That's, a, that's actually a pretty cool feature. But, um, next up is the cog wheel so um if we just get all these buttons so uh, yes it does have to be these specific buttons um they are spruce buttons i'm pretty sure let me check yes spruce buttons um so where'd it go oh, i think you accidentally took one of my buttons oh there it is oh any button okay the crafting recipe just says spruce buttons so yeah, and when you um, put that in, it'll give you eight cogwheels. So cogwheels are actually pretty easy to obtain, but you do need them for a few things. So that's why. But next up is the um, 
I think this is motor if I'm correct. Let me show you how to craft the motor. So this is the way you cra this is how you craft the motor. Um so yeah, the motor is not too difficult to obtain. It's really the um andesite casing as you'll see that's probably one of the most difficult things to obtain. What's well, not obtainable? Wait, what? Oh, motor has no recipe? Oh, sorry, mechanical press. Sorry, mechanical press, not motor. Sorry, I got that mixed up. Um, but um, next up is the andesite casing, which you need for pretty much almost every single machine. So the, the, the thing with this one, you, to get it, you have to go to the nether, as you see, because there is warped, a lot of warped planks, and warped, because there's warped planks and warped logs. So I like that, how you have to adventure to the, at the very least, you have to adventure to the nether to get any, to get pretty much any single one of these machines. Any one of these machines that's actually important. But, um, let's see, let's do that. And this is how, this is how you craft andesite casing, and it gives you four andesite casing, okay. And, well, since it's just as I can craft it, um, the gearbox. So this is how you craft the gearbox. Um, yes, yeah, the gearbox. Oh, I didn't know how to craft a vert. So this is how, uh, so to craft a vertical gearbox, you literally just put a gearbox in there and it'll give you a vertical gearbox. So if we move on to the next one, which is, hmm, I don't know which one for sure this is. If I were to guess, I'd say it's the millstone or the drill. So. Oh yes, it is the drill. So this is how you craft the mechanical drill. And next we have, oh yes, this is how you craft shafts. So shafts are pretty simple of a recipe. Um, the ones that aren't, that you can't, the thing is with shafts, you can't really use shafts unless you have like pretty much, there's really no point having shafts unless you have like any other machine. So that's, the, that's probably even the main reason why they're so easy to craft. But oh yeah, I already showed this one. And I don't, yeah, we didn't show this one yet. So I'm pretty sure this is actually the millstone, but, um, so if we just collect these, oh, whoops, I went in my crafting, my inventory. So if we, um, open up this, yes, it is indeed the millstone. This is how you craft the millstone. Excuse me. It's not too hard. Is that it? Yes, that's it. So now we're on to almost the last ones. Um, Let's see, is that it? Yes, that is it. So, we're almost here to the last ones. Next up, this is the wrench toolbox. Um, we just get all these. And come over here, as you can see, this, this is how you craft the wrench toolbox. And, um, next up is the, so this is what you can use for either the, um, outside book or, um, achievement book. So if we just go over here and put this in, so it's just dirt because these are kind of a somewhat essential items. Like you'll want these, so that's why it's just dirt, the outside achievement book and the outside book. So the outside book, if you just hold that down like you're breaking the block, it'll give you this book and you can read it. And it's just information about the game and about the people on the team who did the stuff. So the item, item texture, I'm pretty sure, is the, um, honestly, this, I don't know, this is confusing. But, um, so this is, so yeah, I was pretty sure. So, yeah, the, um, item, te the item texture is Sir Shatton, and the Midford does block texturing. Um, Tubbs is an add-on maker, um, Notarider, Showcase Map Builder, um, King, MC, Tester, and Strong Miter, an um, add-on maker. So, yeah, that's everyone, on th that's everyone on the team. And, um, so the other one, is, so with, um, the Outside Achievement Book. Oh, there's more I didn't update, okay. Well, also, if you just look, it'll tell you how everything works. But, um, so if you hold down with the outside achievement book it gives you an outside empty achievement which you will need which honestly wait i'll just go ahead and show you how it works so with this if you put it with a wrench toolbox it gives you an outside achievement cute toolbox so that's how you get um achievements in this 
it's basically just in a little award slash um, show off item so next up is the uh yes this is how you craft the bread block i'm not even gonna show this because it's pretty simple this is how you craft the bread block just like any other block it's it's wonderful i love the bread block and yeah this is how you, this like as i already showed you this is how you craft the cute this is how you craft the outside achievement cute toolbox well i'm pretty sure that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um thank you for being here strong miner i had a lot of fun doing this with you but um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, this, I hope you guys will enjoy this add-on. Once again, if you don't know how to download this, just go to the description. There will, if you need, like, any help with anything, just go on the Discord server, the, um, link in the description. And also, if you want to download this, um, there's a link to the McPedal page in the description. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys get notified every time I upload another new Minecraft video. But anyway, guys, this is True.Walker10. And Strong Miner signing out.